Legend of Total War here with part 5 of my Empire Total War Blitz campaign as Great Britain. Previously we've conquered France and defeated them, so France is completely gone now. And if the remaining forces have disappeared. Okay, now with taking Paris France, also I've, as I said I would, I moved all the way down here. I used up quite a few generals movements. If I just go through each individual unit you can see how many of them have just used up all their movements now. Quite a few of them. I might have enough to get through to the, to um, Gibraltar and get back over here, but we will see. Um, the pa the Battle of Paris took me two and a half hours to do because obviously the uh, the attach uh, detach uh, reattach glitch might guarantee you victory, but it also means you have to be very pedantic about how you go about it. Anyway. Um, what taking uh, Paris has also done is given me an increase in income and maybe I'm now able to get that fucking region from the Ottoman Empire before I declare war on them. So I haven't checked it yet, but what am I doing? No, I don't want to give them anything like that. Regions, I want Bosnia, bitch. So, offer them 5,000. It doesn't matter how much I pay them per turn because I'm cancelling anyway. No. No, we're going to need more. I mean, we'll get a bit more money as we take a few more regions, but my reputation is now absolutely soiled. But that being said, I didn't need reputation. I needed the money. So, whatever. We've still got trade partners, right? For now, we've got heaps, I guess. All right, so... Actually, let me just see this. We can have more trade partners because now I can get my goods... To Europe and then well not to Europe to France and then they go by land so let me just see that only Sweden 13 colonies United Provinces Ottoman empires go by sea the rest go by land so that's eff effectively given me four new trade routes however fucked if I'm going to be able to get another trade agreement with anyone given my situation but let's have a bit of a look Crimean Carnate let's see if they'll accept anything They'll accept a payment. I'd rather give them a technology. No. Nah. Since I'll be going to war with them anyway, there's no point in that one. Because they're a vassal of the Ottoman Empire. Chris trade agreement with Denmark. Nope, they've had enough of me. Italian states. Nope. New Spain, probably not. Oh, they'd accept it. Okay, see if we can offer them a technology. I don't like giving people canister shot, but New Spain is not really that much of a threat. Plus, they're going to give me some money. Plus, it's a trade agreement. I'm not going to war against them probably until turn three. I'd still rather not give them canister shot. I don't care about plug bayonet. We'll try for that. See if they'll accept that. That's better. That way, I don't have to give them canister shot. Got a trade agreement, and we got a little bit of cash out of it. Enough to get another general. So with that, our income's even higher. We should still have more trade agreements available. Uh, nope. Apparently we only had one extra. That's fine. So, once again, try with the Ottoman Empire. And... Let's see here. We are... Where is it? Regions. I want Bosnia. And I'm willing to pay you... 5,500. Repeatedly over 20 turns. I can't actually push that any further. Nope. I think... Let me just see. Uh, regions, Bosnia, payments... Up. The original amount that I could have gotten away with was 3,000. That was before I did anything nasty. Hmm. Maybe I still need more money in order to... Uh, to bring them over, because I was able to get Genoa over, even despite the fact I had betrayed France. But maybe Genoa was just a de desperate bunch of pigs, and also Corsica's worthless. Um, Alright, now this situation here. Now, I'm just going to quick save it. This situation here is... Well, attacking this in a fort... I won't be able to utilize my artillery properly, so auto-resolve might be our best chance. So, what I want to do, firstly, 
grab these three and stand them outside here. Okay. Then have him stand right here. Now, the reason why I've did that, if we're going to auto resolve this, he will not survive if he's in this group here with just three men. He will die. However, if he's in his own group, he will not die. Now, let me just quick save it one last time. Time. And we'll see how this goes. I want to get a good result out of this. Because I know I can't fight this battle manually properly. It would take loads of casualties. I'll try, try again, see if I can get a better result. Until we get mobile artillery, which will be next turn, I, I can't do anything about four battles. For the most most part. Especially not against, you know, this many. If it was a smaller battle, maybe, but since the odds are so much in our favor, that's even worse. Let's try again. I'm not too sure about quick saving and quick loading. If I really need to quick save before an auto resolve. It seems to be completely random either. You know, that's actually different. So maybe I do need to quick save and quick load. I don't know. So just bear with me with this. I know it can't be very interesting, but results driven here. Bear with me. We're trying to we're trying to break a world record that I set. And Spain. I remember in the previous um, blitz, Spain was fucking annoying to get. And I also got it on like turn three. This is turn one. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think I can do better. I'm more like, I think my men can do better. Let's see if I can get under 100. And that's terrible. I forgot to quick save that time, so... Now, this guy that, that has three men left, we have to leave him behind. However, I've got a plan for him. He's We're leaving him behind at Madrid, but um, I'll come back to him later. Yeah, I had a feeling that it's like this. Okay, so in order to make use of the quick save, you have to have quick loaded first. So this time it'll have a different result. If I do that, then next time it'll have a different result as well. And it keeps getting worse, but it's, you know, to a degree it's random. I'll tell you what, it saves me a hell of a lot of time than having to fight it manually doing this, because fighting it manually would take me well, a good, good part of an hour or two. And yeah, that's even worse. Did I forget to quick save this time? Possibly. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. Look at that, 31 losses. This is why it pays to be just a little bit patient. You get what you want. I'm the king. I get what I want. All right, so we see who actually took casualties. General's bodyguard, General's bodyguard, Yeomanry, line infantry took a little bit. That's fine with me, given those losses there. That is absolutely fine. 31 men lost. I, I can't ask for a better result than that. Okay, so then once again, need to repair barracks, palace, and conservatorium. All cost money, but whatever. Increased my income. So we'll see if 6,000 will make them happy. Hmm, what if I also gave them a technology as well? Because oh, I don't give a fuck about that tech if they've got it. Regions, give. Oh, I've already asked for it. Payments, offer payments of 6,000 repeatedly over 20 turns. No. Still, I reckon we might be getting close with them. Maybe I just need a little bit more of an incentive. Um, don't forget, some of my income is actually tied up with them in the first place. 1,700 at the moment. So this here will get higher. Not to mention, I still also need to uh, fire one of these 
one of these guys. Probably this guy here because he's incorruptible, which makes the nobility unhappy, which is totally unacceptable. Given that if we have a look at Ireland here and if we exempt it from taxation, the nobility is a massive fucking problem. So he has to go. I don't care how good of an administrator he is. Anyway, I'll deal with that later. Now these guys here, they need to head on to Lisbon. Now that battle will need to be fought manually. So I'll pause the recording. We'll get over there. So basically, I'll just let you know what the, what the, uh, the, I guess the the strategic plan is, to come to Portugal, Lisbon, then to Gibraltar. I might be able to get them to surrender as long as I maintain some movement in all of these units here. The general's bodyguard generally it doesn't really matter about them too much. If I can get a force of surrender on them, I won't take any casualties. Um, and then we have to fight them, because if we don't fight them, they'll retake Madrid. I don't need to destroy them, I just need to fight them enough so they're really weak. Then we stand as close to here as possible. This guy here will be able to march down on them next turn, meet up with them, join the boat, and he'll be our guy that has no movement. And then we'll use him for our movement points to whatever, because you need to have someone with no movements, and he's as good as anyone. And if he gets killed on the next episode, uh, next turn, fine with me. Anyway, I'll pause the recording as I get over to Lisbon. Alright, so we've arrived at Lisbon. Now it's time to get these two uh, to go and attack it. I want them to do it over this river here. So once again, the issues of this camp, uh, this um, battle will be, of course, the combination of their cavalry and artillery. Once they're disposed of, their infantry is really not an issue. Now you might be wondering why I keep having the majority of my forces come in as reinforcements. Obviously, if they're not making the attack, they're not um, losing any movement points, and every movement point counts. I don't think it makes up much of a difference, but you know, doing it four or five times it adds up. Okay, it's a nice sunny day, and we've got a nice big high ground here. This is this is nice. I like this high ground here. Don't like this wall here though. So, hmm. I think we'll just have to put up with it. I mean, they'll shoot over the wall for the most part, it's fine. Hmm. I don't like where my reinforcements are coming from, it's too far away, but we'll, we'll make do. The enemy artillery is over there. Okay, for one thing, they've positioned their artillery in probably the worst spot they could have. But another thing is that I'm going to be hard pressed to hit it, especially because of the range. And then of course, yeah, just bouncing it in there, it's going to be hard to hit. But then again, that wasn't too far off. I guess our massive high ground advantage here might come in handy. Alright, you guys need to get over here as soon as possible. Those cavalry want to have a go at us. Okay, we might actually be able to hit those artillery. But let's focus on these cavalry that are incoming here. They seem to be charging in on us. Luckily, they have to charge up a hill. If they want to get at us. You can stand over here. Our reinforcements haven't shown up yet. All of those shots missed. guys have a lot of experience. They'll be quicker at reloading, but they're still slow as shit. That was pretty damn good. Nearly half the battalion got killed on that. Be good if they just broke. Nope. So we should be get, able to get another volley in before they, um... Before they get here. Oh shit. Here they come. Reasonable shot. Not fantastic, but reasonable. Enough to break them. Good. And 
fuck off. Hopefully, because the red line's right here. Hopefully they don't recover before then. They still shoot them anyway, because they're not shattered. They're, they're not going to be able to hit that. It's, it's too much in the way. They'll still try it anyway. Yeah. Run off the battlefield. We're done with you. I don't need to kill you, I just need to route you. They've left their artillery badly defended. Now you're too tired to send in there, right? Oh, they came back just at the last second there. You need to recover your fatigue if you want to fight him. Gonna take them off the uh, artillery for the moment. Let's see what they do. And they get back on it. Okay, this guy here, he's coming at me from an angle that I can't get at him this time. You should stand back. But we'll still try. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Okay, stop firing. He's very tired, and he's only got 29 men. If you guys can recover your fatigue, you'll be able to fight him no problem. I hope. Okay, give us this one shot. Very quickly. Do it. Uphill. Quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Just in fucking time there. Now shatter it. Shoot it once more. Still not shattered, but I don't think they're going to come back this time. Still got more reinforcements coming. Come on, just need one of them to get off the battlefield, and then there we go, it's done. Alright, well that's done. Now there's still one more cavalry to worry about. This one over here. It's not as much of a threat, because they're not quite as fast. While this is going on, let's see if we can try and get lucky and hit these artillery. It's unlikely, but you never know. It's not too far off. Jeez, it's pretty close, actually. Okay, that should be our last load of reinforcements. Get them up on the hill here. Alright, so I'm going to pause the recording here and resume if something interesting happens. Okay, so they're advancing towards us even though we haven't actually hit any of their artillery. But it might be because we killed their general. He caught running around. We got him. Now, I'm also bringing this guy up here. I want him to make a run to kill this uh, artillery. Now, if he stands here, he should be safe. And just charge in on them. I've just got to be careful, though. Because these guys are not protecting their artillery at all. If we do that, what are they doing? Good, they're going to reform here. Oh, shit, I'm not too sure about this. You need to charge it at them right now. This is getting a bit too close for comfort. I don't think they're... They're going the way that we need to. Oh, now they're turning around. Okay, that's alright. Okay, 
get over here. There's no more cavalry to worry about. All their cavalry's been dealt with. Okay, stand there and recover your... Shit. They shot at you. That might have just been a lucky shot. I don't think they can hit you from here. You've got to be shitting me. Alright, you can't stay there then. Spread out. Let's see if we can time it just right. Because I tried shooting their artillery, I just can't hit it. Okay, good. You gotta charge on them before they reload. Don't forget, they get huge bonuses on their reloading rate. See how quickly they reload? Jesus Christ. Oh no, they didn't reload. It's alright. Okay, that was a... That was a pretty meh charge. Let's see, can I break them? Alright, good. Alright, if they're shattered, you don't need to run any more of them down. We've got this now. Okay, now they'll act the way we want them to. Pretty much victory is certain at this point. I just need to get this guy back over to the other side. Do you want to repeat what happened at Paris? So they'll, they'll reform and then they'll just keep charging in, just walking in, I guess. It's not really charging if they walk. But then it will be easy. And I just need to wait this out. This will, this will probably take me about an hour to do. Because there's quite a lot of troops. But anyway, this guy's made it back. So I'll just pause the recording and work my way through their ranks. Okay, got a little bit of an issue here. We've got some of them that didn't want to withdraw in the last uh, detach. And I'm trying to get away from them, but they do not want to go. So I'm going to send the pikemen in. To go and fight these armed citizenry in melee. Unfortunately, this is just not organized at all. No, not you. I might have said they're just luckily they're just fire locked arms, citizenry. It's not that big of a deal. Oh come on. It's not that fucking hard to walk in a straight line, you moron. Where's this guy? Okay, he's safe. Who got shot at? How many died? Not many. Okay. Good solid charge here. Luckily they're tired. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I did tell my guys yet not to fire at will. Hit them as well. Good solid charge there. Alright. That could have been very bad, but we got through it. Okay, they've all shattered, so don't worry about it anymore. Casualties were pretty minimal. He took a few, but it's still not too bad. I mean, it'd be silly to expect that all these battles aren't going to take any casualties. I mean, like I said, the attach detach thing, it's not perfect. Sometimes they will, especially early on in the battle, they will have the balls to just keep running up at you. keep these guys here and unfortunately because of very small deployment zones we're always deploying close to the red lines so we really can't run back and also when these guys we need to get them moving god damn it they're disorganized but whatever anyway let's resume as in i'll pause the recording and keep shooting them and come back if anything interesting happens like this okay it looks like the battle is won here just a bit of grinding and uh we got them no additional casualties were taken. So I think I lost maybe 60 men. Maybe less. 28. Okay, that's nowhere near as many as I thought. So it's like one whole battalion of... of um, General's Bodyguard, almost. A few pikemen, none of the important infantry killed. None of my generals were killed either. All well, a good job. Well done, team. Now, 
this is a settlement in which we certainly do not need this. This thing here can fuck off. It's gonna cause problems. Once again, repair all the usual stuff that needs to be repaired to maintain public order. This region should actually be, of our conquered regions, um, quite easy to maintain once these are repaired, because that's these things here will provide quite a bit of public order. Minus 12 is not too bad, especially considering that's also going to go away as well. So they'll go down to minus 8. Um, people in government, I'll make sure that goes away a little bit. Eventually. We'll deal with that later, later in, in the turn. Okay, these guys joined back up with them. And I'll just quick save it. That was quite a painful battle to go through. Let me just check my clock on how long that took me. About, about an hour and a half. <sighs> It'll get a lot easier once I can stick another artillery in here obviously um, I just need to put up with it the next battle down here well it's not even going to be a battle I'm going to ensure that I can uh, well hopefully I can just tell them surrender or, or die motherfuckers and they should surrender last thing we want here is this fucking church get lost catholic pricks and then we'll make our way up here to defeat them and that's these guys done for the turn and they're on minimal casualties this is going very well so far and I haven't even lost any generals yet one thing that is an issue, though, is whether or not we're actually going to have enough movement. Now, once I've gotten to here, I can feel free to use up all of these guys' movement, but right now I need to make sure they've at least got some, or else they, uh, they won't be able to join the siege. Because the thing is, when you, when you go in for the attack and you demand a surrender, the chances of them surrendering is based on the, the force that's in actually besieging the, uh, the settlement. It takes no consideration into reinforcements. So you can't just send in the general. You have to send in the general and enough of these guys. I'm probably going to send all of them. So, uh, except for these guys because they're running out of movement. Um, to make sure that that surrenders. Anyway, I'll make my way down there. And we'll see you at Gibraltar. Okay, so I've just made it all the way to Gibraltar here. Now, I've already tried one attempt at making them surrender. And it didn't work. So let me just, let me just see what I can do. Hang on. All these guys together. If I place them here, come on. You ask too much. Waiting for all Yeah, I don't know why they they refuse. Maybe they're um Maybe they're too happy with Spanish control or something. Or maybe it's too much of a core of a uh, of the Spanish, uh, I don't know, whatever. But if that's the case, looks like we'll have to fight this manually. No, you don't want to go around that way. Alright. Bit of a pain in the ass because I was sort of counting on it. It was one of the reasons why we were trying to maintain so much movement with those particular units. Not that it really makes any difference. Let's have a look at this map. Where are we going to set up? This looks like a good spot right here. So there's nothing going to be too particularly interesting. I'm confident that I can do this without a single casualty. It's just a simple case of exploiting you know, the, um, the attach detach bullshit. My reinforcements are deploying on their side of the field. That's not what I want. I would rather them behind me. Whatever, I can deal with this. Um, anyway, I'll just pause the recording pretty much until the battle's over because I can't imagine it's going to be particularly interesting. Okay, we're pretty much at the end of the battle here now. There's just the one battalion left that hasn't routed. I think if we hit it with them some canister shot, it's pretty much gone. We haven't taken any casualties, of course. It'd be pretty embarrassing to take casualties when we're using the, um, using this glitch and we're only up against friggin' armed citizenry. I'm getting too close. After that port, it's just a little bit time to reload. There we go. Come on. Get rid of them. Just need to break. 
No, not yet. They just need a little bit more punishing. Usually when there's one left, they don't bother going to reform. They just come straight at you, which is always good. Saves a bit of time. No, no, I don't need that. Come on, break you piece of shit. There we go. We've won the battle. Shouldn't have had to fight that battle in the first place. I mean, the balance of power was enough that we should have been able to um, get their surrender. But, whatever. Lost no men. No harm done. Just cost me a bit of time. Which, at the end of the day, is not really that big of a deal. Okay, so. Now I just need to get my, my troops over to here to fight him. Once we fight him and stand as close to this port as possible, that's it. We're done, at least in Europe, for the turn. We still have to deal with the America's stuff. There's not as much stuff to do here because basically, well, I'll do this now. We need to recruit the 12 pound foot artillery. These guys are crucial for what we need to be doing in America. But there's a few naval battles that we need to do. There's, you know, Spanish here pirates there. I believe there's some pirates somewhere around here. Somewhere, but I'm not too sure. Um, anyway, I'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 6, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.